I invite you to be seated. Uh, if you're worshiping with us online, I apologize uh, that we were having sound issues for the beginning of the service. Uh, this next part of our worship service is our minute message, a short gospel-centered message, especially for the youngest members of the church. Um, today is a special day when we think and talk and listen uh, about what it means to be a child and part of uh, Jesus' followers, part of the church, to be a disciple. Jesus has his followers, and they are walking together, um, and they're having a conversation with one another about who's the best. Um, and it's hard to say exactly what they're talking about, but I don't think it was probably like who's the best at Fortnite or um, who is the best at baking bread, but it might have been. But it, what it seems like they were talking about is who is the greatest among them? Who's just the best one of them? The most important, the one that's going to be with Jesus the longest or in the best uh, position of power, you know, the, who's his best friend and the best at following what Jesus teaches us to do? And then the next thing that happens is some parents come with their kids and they want uh, to bring their kids close to Jesus. And the disciples say, you know what? Jesus is really busy right now. In fact, for the last little while, Jesus keeps going places to try and get some time on his own. And so I don't think he has any time for kids right now. Uh, but what Jesus does then is reminds them that Jesus always has time for children. Uh, he brings them into the center so they can't, it's not just that Jesus welcomes kids to be a part, but he brings them into the middle and reminds them that they are so important and that he always has time for them. Jesus loves them and blesses them. And Jesus loves you and blesses you too.